Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog video. Today we're going to look at some ways to loop one-shot samples to make beats. I have some samples here from a vintage drum machine. Let's hear how they sound. You may have noticed my editing toolbar. The actions that I'm going to use today are my grid actions and loop item source and SWS loop item section. I use these actions quite a lot and Quickly, let's go into the preferences and in project and media item defaults, I have all these loop options turned off. I don't like having my stuff loop by default. I usually like to trim things first and make sure things are perfect before I loop them. So I've got my grid set to one quarter note. I'm going to drag this out to be so the item length is one quarter note. You can see the item ends right here. The actual source material ends here. It's not repeating yet. I want it to be at one quarter note. I run my action loop section of selected items. Click that. And now it appears to be at the full length of one quarter note. If I drag the edge and extend it, it starts repeating the item. So we're going to do the same thing for the hi hat. And that's going to be on a do a 16th note grid. So I need to extend this a little bit to 16th note. Then I run that action again, loop section, and then drag it out. Uh, now if I want to undo that, if I didn't have it exactly one 16th note, or if I want to change that to an eighth note or something like that, I can click this other action, loop item source. So it's going to undo looping. And now I bring that into an eighth note grid loop section. And now my hi hat is on an eighth note grid or repeating on an eighth note interval. Okay. So now for this open hi hat, I want it to start here and I want it to go every bar at the end. So what I'll do is drag this out. So that is one bar long and now run that action loop selection that and now I can drag it backwards and now the tail starts to be heard here which makes this a seamless loop when it's played back. This uh, snare is going to be on quarter notes. Well it's really going to be two quarter notes. Unmute that. So I want it to be from here to here and I loop the item and drag it again and it repeats. So here's the beat. So I think it's a pretty simple concept. These actions are things that I use quite a lot. That's loop item source and loop section of selected items. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the website with a monthly donation through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.